things are a little different here lately. What's going on? Absolutely. So we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing mm -hmm. by updating some of the technology and the interactives here at Apollo Saturn 5 Center. So right behind us, you'll see a lunar module that was previously suspended from the ceiling over the Moon Rock Cafe. And now it's here on the ground. So guests can have a better look at it and, and see the vehicle that landed on the moon. I have a question. Why is it shaped so weird? You know, it's like not, it's not like, yeah. it's not conformed. It's got these like weird oblong, it sure. looks like somebody designed it in like the, I don't know, the 60s. Oh, I guess they did. They did. Oh, yes. They, 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 they did, what, yes. It was a style yes. choice. I think it's a style choice, yes. And also certain components were built once it landed. So some of the antennae and things that are on there were probably released after it landed on the moon. Okay, I see. So you're telling me that this used to be up, right? Yes. And it now it is landed for the 50th year anniversary? Just like they've landed Say the line. on the moon, the eagle has landed. <laughs> Thank you. You finally said it. <laughs> it is great to see it, though. <laughs> yes. That one's pretty good. I like this one on the right, though. Nah. Left one? That's my best one. Your best one is the middle one. My worst one's the middle one. What do we do? Third? Let's do that one. You look very excited. I look like an idiot. I think that's perfect. The oh, people's moon. The people's moon. Huh? Oh, I always thought it was going to be the the yang symbol. I was confused. Not yet. Oh. oh. Huh? There we are. Oh, that's us. <laughs> yeah. Right next to that astronaut. Wow. I we look great right in that photo. We did it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's like, wait, Perch died in lane again? What? <laughs> All right, Perch. Time for one of the most magical parts of Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. This is the real moon rock. This is one of the only places in the world, maybe the onlyest, where you could touch the rock from the moon. I've touched it before. Time has come for you to place your hand on the moon. How does it feel? Is that it? What? It's great. Excellent <laughs> experience. Please come visit and touch this rock that too. This is amazing rock. It really is incredible. That's the moon. This is the coolest part. What? Porous rock from cooled lava, 3.7 billion years old. That's cool. And How there's not that? much of an atmosphere, so it takes a really long time for it to erode. That's like, that's like it's been in a museum for three billion years, and now it's in a new museum on Earth. That's the cool part. Not that we get to touch it, but yeah. that it's porous lava rock. It's not porous anymore. <laughs> So this is new, what is this bad boy? So this is a command service module. Mm. This particular vehicle portion of the vehicle is where the astronauts would have their living quarters. So on their way to the moon, this is where the astronauts spent their time. Wow. Uh, 15 miles of wiring in this particular vehicle uh, for the mission. And, awesome. uh, and this particular uh, vehicle sat atop the Saturn 1B rocket that was in the rocket garden that you saw today. Yep. Uh, so as a backup mission for a Skylab. Wow, that was your favorite rocket. It's kind of cool. It's like uh, if you guys ever need something new to, to grab, you can just like take apart one of your rockets and spread it across one of your rooms and have a bunch of cool new stuff to look at. Yeah, and then you can put it back on the yeah, rocket. Yeah, yeah, probably not with artifacts, but it's a good idea. <laughs> oh, idea. you can't mention artifacts. Don't say our and that's everything for our content here at the Kennedy Space Center. We've had a really good time. Got to see almost all the exhibits with our time. Got to experience the the astronaut experience, what was it called Yes, again? astronaut training experience. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. It was like, we walked in that room and it was like gamer's paradise, dude. <laughs> got to bring lots of friends though. We only got to play with two people, but if you and your friends come, you can have a good time for sure. Five hours in there. It's, it's definitely <laughs> worth it. But there's a lot of other stuff too. Like uh, this place is amazing. Being able to see the live, real models, things that went to space. It's incredible. I always have a good time coming to Kennedy. I hope I get to come again. And thank you, Rebecca, for your time sticking around with us. You're welcome. It's yeah. great having you. Wow. you. Thanks. But uh, anyway, Kennedy Space Center high five, everybody. One, two, three. That's, Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. It's not a high five. It's not a high five. <laughs> See you next time. I don't know what that is. <laughs>